Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Craft server. I'm DK and on episode 9 today, things have, uh, things have made some progress here. So let's hop into it, take a look, and get some stuff done today. Here we go. Alright, so obviously the first thing that needs to be addressed here, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, uh, the castle has had some serious work done to it since the last time we saw it. The last time we saw this, it was just a wall with no towers in the corners and nothing in the middle. And now we have a fully completed area with not only a wall, but guard towers at the end, a gatehouse at the front, and this beautiful start to a castle right here. So all of this was done either uh, off stream or it was either done offline or on stream. And yeah, it's uh, th this has been kind of a crazy project. So there have been a lot of other changes as well. Um, let's, let's go take a look at the shopping district real quick because I want to go and take a look and see exactly what's been going on there since the last time we were here. And... So, one major change, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, um, Alex, one of the, like, very de devoted members of the server, has taken time to build this amazing nether highway here. And by, when I say amazing, I mean, it's, it's absolutely insane. I mean, look at this. So, if I remember correctly, and I'm sure I'll get corrected on this if I'm wrong, this area right here leads straight down to an end portal. Uh, that can be used to go to the end. So we may, uh, we may have to go fight the end dragon sometime soon. But yeah, our way, our path, still the same as always. Very dangerously flying through the nether. Avoiding pigs. And hoping we don't crash and die in the process. And oh god. Whew. That was close. Alright, to the shopping district. And upon arriving at the shopping district, we can see that there there are a couple changes here. Number one, Nikea is gone. It's disappeared from existence. But I've been told it will be back eventually. Uh, in its place, though, we do have another shop. This is Nether No Way. As in, no nether, no deal. It's right here. Yeah, so we no longer have to go to the nether to get stuff. So we can go and buy magma blocks... Um, we can buy glowstone, soul sand, and we can buy nether quartz, which is really good because we're going to need lots of nether quartz for builds that we're going to be doing. Along with that, we still have the iron shop. We have another store right here that sells enchanted armor and weaponry, just like so, and all of the enchantments are completely random. And we also have Wolfie's Plentiful Potato Palace, where you can go and buy all of your baked potatoes. As well as our ramen shop. So yeah, the the shopping district is, uh, it's taken off. And we need to go run back to my house and grab some rockets real quick. So let's do that, and then we'll take a look at the newest edition. And the final edition that has taken place here, ladies and gentlemen, is there is now a massive farm over on this side of the spawn area. Now, I've created this and built all of this. Uh, this area over here has a sugarcane farm, has a chicken farm, and a pumpkin farm, because this area is specifically for generating pumpkin pies. As you can see, pumpkin farm is kind of slow. Egg farm, though, is, uh, is producing quite a few eggs. And the sugarcane farm is doing pretty well as well. We also have a massive kelp farm for fuel, which is producing absurd amounts of kelp at absurdly fast rates as well as having a bamboo farm and a super smelter as well so yeah lo lots of updates uh since the last time that we were we were in this world we have walmart which is almost completely full we're gonna have to start expanding storage in the iron farm yeah the iron farm got a massive facelift on stream Wherein it is now completely full of iron, and underneath there are 100 chests to be filled with iron. So I don't think running out of iron anytime soon is going to be an issue. Anyways, back through the nether, and back to the castle. 
And we're back. All right. So, uh, with all of those updates out of the way, we we have done quite a bit of work on this, and this this castle is going to be huge. It it pales in comparison to what the rest of this area looks like right now because it just looks like a base. But this castle is going to be massive, and once this is done, we can start expanding out and adding in some more areas in here some more shops and places like that because i don't just want this to be a wall with a castle on the inside of it i want this to be a kingdom where i have shops and villagers and i have basically everything i need is either in one shop or can be found in one shop so i think we need to start off today with a nice time lapse of a little bit more building of the castle so we're gonna pop into a time lapse and i will see you guys in just a second here we go it's not a game, it's a ranch thing. get up there I can think of no conceivable way that this this wandering villager should literally be standing on top of the nether portal right now the only way that happened is if he spawned up there which if he spawned up there what where in the world are the llamas did they get stuck through the nether portal uh, okay this game's weird. I, I'm telling you guys, I've played this game for o o over a decade now, and it never ceases to amaze me that it, strange things like this can happen. Anywho, uh, so yeah, we, we've made a little bit of progress on the castle today. Uh, like I said, progress is, is going to be very slow, uh, and progress is going to be very slow simply due to the fact that this thing, it takes a while. I mean, you guys saw in that time lapse, I literally, I just did some detailing work over here on this tower. I started some detailing work on this tower over here. I finished this wall. And I built a giant wooden platform right here. All of that together, that's like an hour's worth of work. Almost. Just for, like, that small amount of progress. So this thing's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be massive. Especially considering we still have this tower to go. We still have the back wall and gate. And we still have this tower. Plus we have the actual main house structure of the interior to go. So this is, uh, it's, uh, yeah. Things are gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So I may do some more work off the, on this, uh, on stream... Uh, and offline a little bit just to help, like, push things along in the correct direction. Uh, but, yeah, this, this place is coming together. It's looking nice. 
I was right! I was right! The Lamas did get teleported through the nether portal. I have never seen this happen before. Never once have I seen Llamas get teleported through another portal and the wandering villager left behind. This is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen happen in Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely insane. Alright, we need to go collect some materials because we have one final build left to do today. And ladies and gentlemen, we've been joined up by Alex and uh, apparently he almost French kissed the llama by accident. But I've been told that we need to uh, go and check out what Alex is building. And we need a boat. But we can make one of those real quick. There we go. We have a boat now. I think Alex will have to get us one. <laughs> Wait, we don't need one. Did did he go through already? There he is. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. I I literally told him that I okay. Either way, this nether highway system is so nice, by the way. Everybody give Alex some love down in the comments, please, because he, uh, desperately deserves it for all of the hard work that he put in here. And we're drifting! Oh, God. Uh, um. I no longer know if I'm going the correct way. I think this is the way to go. Oh, this is what happens when I try and be funny. No, it's not! It's the wrong way! There we go! This is actually super nice. Alex has put a ton of work into creating this for us. So, yeah, like I said, show Alex some love down in the comments, please. And we're here! Alright, let's take a look and see what Alex has to offer for us. Oh my goodness. So we have grass blocks and we have what in the world is going on here? This is absolutely freaking crazy. Okay. Uh, Alex has put quite a bit of work into this area, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. Giant tunnels. Oh my goodness! And it leads directly to the end portal. No way! This is absolutely freaking crazy. Oh, great. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's head on back. We have one last project to do today. Let's see how quickly we can get it done. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the base of the castle, and we have one last thing that we need to build today, and that is very simply uh, a... That is very simply a, uh, a chicken farm, because I'm starting to run out of pumpkin pies, and the idea of having to constantly run back over and over and over again for uh, food all the way to my other base is not a great prospect to me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put up a simple auto chicken farm here just to get things rolling and to make sure that uh, we can actually... like have a stable source of food here so i'm just gonna throw this here and we're gonna do this and this is like a super super basic uh chicken farm design that is like incredibly easy to follow uh, and if you want to see this i will throw the info card up in the right hand corner for you right now so let's uh let's get this thing built and we'll 
get ourselves some food going here. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fully completed chicken farm ready to go. The only thing that we have to do here is we need to add a double chest up front, so that way we can make sure we get all of our supplies and they don't get stuck in the hopper. And if you don't know how one of these works, it's really simple. The um, baby chickens will eventually grow up into full-size adult chickens. Once they've grown up into full-size adult chickens, they will be just tall enough to where they will get launched into the lava and once they've been launched into the or once they're tall enough they will get touched by the lava they will burn up their insides will fall down and they will fall into the hoppers where they will go directly into the chest right here and we'll end up with cooked chicken and feathers both in right here which would be really nice when we finally decide that we're going to uh use some feathers to make some arrows so, with this, this solves an issue. We have a lot done here. We got to go see Alex's super amazing, crazy creation. So, we, we've gotten a lot done today, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately, that is all the time I'm going to have for today's episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm DK. If you really like the video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see me build in the comments down below or what your thoughts are on the castle and the progress of everything that's been made so far. And if you really liked everything, consider subscribing because it helps out the channel a ton and you get to keep up with all the hijinks that we have going on on the channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!